Unlocking the future with microchips. A tech festival in Melbourne is shining the spotlight on microchips, with technicians implanting the injectables into 10 volunteers who will personally test them out. The microchip is roughly the size of a grain of rice and is capable of holding only one access code and limited information. The tiny device is typically injected in between the thumb and forefinger, using a needle as thick as those used in body piercings. Each microchip uses NFC or near-field communication to unlock a specific door, vehicle or device. The volunteers' chips come preloaded with a 30-day VIP pass and will be programmed to unlock the door to their home, gym or work. Alternatively, it can also function as a public transportation pass. When the festival finally comes around in February of 2018, the 10 volunteers will join a panel and talk about whether they found the chip useful. Developers are already working on a model of microchips that can store multiple access codes and even be able to handle payments. In due time, people will have no need for keys or wallets, but until that day comes, we'll just be here fumbling with our keychains. Would you chip your life? Employees at a Swedish office complex use microchips implanted in their hands to access doors and coffee machines. Hundreds of people working at a Swedish tech business incubator can choose to inject a radio frequency identification microchip into their hand. The microchip provides quicker and more reliable employee authentication at Stockholm's epicenter office complex. The chip is contained within a tiny capsule about the size of a grain of sand. Inside the capsule is a copper antenna coil, a capacitor, the microchip and a glass casing. The capsule is inserted into the layer of skin between the thumb and index finger. When the chip is scanned, it transmits a unique binary number that acts as a password. Employees can use the chip to operate the building's front door and their own office space. Employees can also activate the building's copy machines by scanning their microchip. Eventually, employees may be able to pay for food in the office cafeteria, as well as access their private computers with the implanted microchip. Australian biohackers implant RFID chips under their skin. A brave and increasing number of biohackers in Australia are implanting microchips in their hands that allow them to remotely unlock doors and perform other tasks. The microchips are roughly the size of a grain of rice. The chips employ either RFID or NFC technology. RFID or radio frequency identification is a one-way communication system. RFID receivers can read data stored on the chip even at a considerable distance. RFID chips can be used to replace identification badges to unlock secure doors. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. This technology can be used for two-way communications but has a maximum operation range of 10 centimeters. An NFC chip can integrate multiple contact details and transfer them to a receiving device. It can also store complex medical data and share that information with hospitals. For the biohackers among you, an Australia couple has started a business of selling these microchips. An NFC chip costs 140 Australian dollars, while an RFID chip costs just 80. Science fiction is becoming fact, and we're not sure we like it. A tech firm in Wisconsin is about to become the first company in the U.S. to give microchip implants to its employees. 3 Square Market, which designs software for vending machines, says more than 50 of its workers have volunteered to have the devices fitted. The microchips are about the size of a grain of rice and will be inserted into the skin between the thumb and forefinger. The microchips will allow workers to access the building and log on to their computers. Employees can also use the chips to buy food-like products from office vending machines. The purveyors of this dystopian technology claim there is no GPS function and it won't be used to keep tabs on employees. But we can't help but feel like we're sleepwalking into a future where even the blandest details of our lives are recorded, possibly to be used against us at a later date. The company says none of its employees are required to get a chip implant. But it's not impossible to imagine a world where this kind of thing is the norm. And if you want a job, you'll have no choice but to become part cyborg. Just because something tech-related is possible, doesn't mean we have to do it. Pay your fare using only your hand. Are you one of those people that's always losing stuff like keys and tickets? Well, Sweden has found the solution. 
Around 3,000 Swedish commuters have had biometric microchips implanted in their hands in order to pay for train tickets. Commuters who elect to have the RFID chip implanted under the skin are able to have their tickets loaded onto the device. The implants use near-field communication technology, similar to contactless credit cards or mobile payments. When activated by a reader device a few centimeters away, information can be transferred between them using magnetic field induction. The train conductor then scans the microchip with a smartphone to complete and verify the ticket transaction. An estimated 20,000 people in Sweden already have implants and are using them to swipe in and out of the office and to pay for food. 